which secondary antagonist is more evil than the main antagonist? Burke from Aliens. At least you don't see the xenomorphs fucking each over for a goddamned percentage. Yeah. The xenomorphs are just living out their life cycle. Being their best selves. Count Trujan vs Prince Humperdinck in The Princess Bride. Dude had a hidden torture dungeon called the Pit of Despair. Slightly more evil than stuck up rich boy playing political games. I agree with this. Movie Rujan was more sinister. Though, to be that guy, in the novel it was Humperdinck's dungeon and it had 5 levels of dangerousness. Nothing was on the most dangerous level, level 5, until he captured Wesley. Also in the novel, the reason Humperdinck wanted to start a war with Gilder was because they sent him a bald woman, wearing a wig, obviously, to be his bride. It also was the reason why he wanted to marry the most beautiful woman in his own kingdom. Novel Humperdinck did many things and was evil as shit. Gunner from Adventure Time. He is the most evil being in all of existence. Mrs. Love and gaslights a mentally ill neighbor she has a crush on to murder people who inconvenience her and to increase her profits. She's way more evil than Sweeney Todd, even though she never murders anyone herself. That seemed stressful to write. How about a shave? A stylish. Trimming of the hair? Her lie of omission is a lot of the reason Todd kills so many people to begin with. So she kinda did indirectly murder most of the people he kills. Scott Evil. He actually went through with the frickin' sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their frickin' heads. I'd say number two because he brought about Verticon's control over cable companies in 38 states in Dr. Evil's absence. I can't think of anything more evil. He even had the idea to just shoot Austin and Agent what has her name outright. Of course you could argue he was added into the movie to shine light on the classic spy movie trope of the villains and their henchmen being overly elaborate with their plans. I've got a gun, in my room, I'll go get it. Why don't you just kill him now? He's right there. Classic. Why don't you just call it Operation Ass Cream, you ass? Lady Macbeth. I keep forgetting if Macbeth was the bad guy or not. In Gotham, I think Victor's sass was way worse than Carmen Falcone. The Knave of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland Total Manipulator who turned the slightly mean Queen of Hearts into a total homicidal maniac. Yeah that dude was like an American propaganda ad of how the Japanese were. The commander has some sense of honor. His right hand was downright sadistic. Ridley from Metroid Despite being easily the series' most iconic villain, and Samu's eternal arch-rival, motherfucker ate her parents right in front of her. He's rarely ever the in-game main antagonist slash final boss, and usually works under people like Mother Brain. But Ridley is one savage and evil motherfucker. Metroid is super fucking dark when you read into the lore. That's not even the most fucked up thing Ridley did to Samus and it's strongly implied multiple times that Samus suffers from debilitating PTSD because of Ridley. I reckon anyone would have crippling PTSD if they fight a space dragon that are their parents. Then when you think it's dead and you're doing your thing it comes back as a robot space dragon. He later taunts her by using her parents' voice to say she's disappointment, a disgrace, etc. Edit. It's important to note that Ridley not only talks, but is said to have genius IQ. Helping design his own resurrection as Meta Ridley and maybe designing Mecha Ridley. Todd in Breaking Bad. I always loved the description of Todd as the anti-Jesse. Todd's polite, cordial, has a close relationship with his fucked up family, but has practically no moral compass and can kill someone or torture without even a second of 
hesitation. Jesse is loud, aggressive, rude, has a bad relationship with his parents, but deep down doesn't want to hurt any. Dude was mentally broken from killing one person and he struggled so hard to even do that. Basically I dug that dynamic in the last season.